Boys, Angel Di Maria's recent comments about Neymar and Vinicius Jr. is causing the chat to go crazy in the world of soccer. Let's uncover what Di Maria had to say and why it's sending shockwaves through the football community. Stay tuned and stick with us till the end. I'm eager to hear your thoughts on the controversy surrounding Brazil and Neymar. And don't forget to subscribe to prestigious sports updates and hit the bell icon to stay in the loop with all things football. So let's start our journey. Copa America could mark a pivotal moment for the Neymar era in Brazil's national team. Unlike 2018 and 2022, nearly half of Brazilians now debate whether the team should move on without Neymar. Critics argue he's playing in Arabia, hasn't clinched major wins with the national team, and is plagued by frequent injuries. His absence in this Copa America highlights a new-look Brazilian squad. There are two possible outcomes. Brazil excels and secures victory with a new star like Vinicius Jr. or Rodrigo, or without a standout player at all. This could sway public opinion further against Neymar, suggesting the team thrives without him. Stay tuned as we explore these scenarios and the ongoing debate. Consider this. What if Brazil doesn't clinch the Copa America title? Even worse, what if they face early elimination or a string of disappointing performances? In that scenario, critics will likely argue that the team lacks leadership and fails to step up when it matters most. Whether Neymar is sidelined due to injury or disinterest, many still see him as Brazil's standout player until he hangs up his boots. Reflecting on their recent match against Costa Rica, it's hard to envision Brazil lifting the trophy this time. Their squad isn't in peak form, and the road ahead looks challenging. In the knockout stage, overcoming Paraguay, often a tough opponent for Brazil in the Copa America, will be crucial. A decisive clash with Colombia follows, a team that's proven its mettle by defeating powerhouses like Germany and Spain. They even handed Brazil a defeat last November. While beating Colombia isn't out of reach, their current form suggests they'll pose a significant challenge if they field their strongest lineup. Stay tuned as we watch how Brazil navigates these formidable hurdles. Let's consider the path ahead for Brazil. To reach the final, they may need to overcome formidable opponents like the United States or Uruguay in the quarterfinals, face Colombia again in the semis, and potentially meet Argentina in the ultimate showdown. While anything is possible in football, the performance against Costa Rica suggests this journey could be challenging. Oh God, please no, no, no! No! Another factor tipping the scales in Neymar's favor is Vinicius Jr.'s struggle to shine for the national team. Despite being hailed as Brazil's and the world's top player, Vinicius has scored just three goals in nearly 30 appearances, and in the last game, he was even substituted. What does this mean? It points to Neymar reclaiming his role as Brazil's key player once he's back from injury. This trend could persist until the 2026 World Cup, provided he stays fit and in form. Now, let's get into Di Maria's insightful perspective. The Copa America is a tightly contested battleground where familiarity breeds fierce competition, he reflects. It's not just about Brazil and Argentina. Formidable teams like Colombia, Uruguay, Ecuador and Chile add to the intensity. Di Maria dispels any notion of ease for defending champions, stressing the challenge and motivation opponents derive from facing them. Acknowledging Brazil's depth with talents like Vinicius Jr. and Rodrigo, he highlights Neymar's absence as a significant loss. Reflecting on past battles, he recalls Neymar's knack for turning games on their heads, leaving opponents on edge. 
His talent could still shape Brazil's journey, Di Maria admits, relieved not to face such a formidable adversary. Despite Brazil's stars, he contends that none replicate Neymar's unique influence. As Brazil seeks another title, Di Maria's words underscore the irreplaceable role Neymar plays in their aspirations. Remembering that last week, another who had already spoken something similar about the impact of Neymar's absence was none other than Messi. What? 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 Look at the exact words of the Argentine genius if you didn't see them. Neymar's absence due to the knee injury is really a shame, not only for the Brazilians, but for all those who want to see a tournament with the best. Neymar is one of the best in the world, and any club or team would feel his lack, but they have a million players. Brazil always has many good players because they are always different. They have a very strong and very competitive team. Brazil, just like Argentina, is a candidate and wants to win the Copa America. If the Argentines mention Neymar's performance so much in the final of this Copa America, it is because it really was something incredible. Look also at what goalkeeper Emiliano Dibu Martinez said about this. The toughest opponent you've ever come up against. Um, I would say mate, Neymar in the final. Really? Last 25 minutes, it was my midfielder smashing at him, like pushing, kicking at him. My centre back trying to grab him like that. And he would just kept running towards my goal. I'm like, mate, slow down. Someone is stopping. Slow <laughs> down. He just slid into Richarlison and, and I had to make the save. But mate, we could not stop Neymar for 25 minutes in the final. I he love was that. unstoppable. I love that. Remember the challenge of facing Neymar? It felt like trying to halt a force of nature. Pushing, kicking, nothing seemed to work against his unstoppable drive. Now, I'm curious. Do you think Neymar's absence truly impacts the national team? Would his return make a game-changing difference? Or has his influence waned? As Brazil charts its course in the Copa America, do you foresee soaring triumphs or potential stumbles? Join the debate in the comments below. And don't miss out on the latest football updates. Subscribe to Prestigious Sports and hit the bell icon for notifications. Stay tuned for all things football. Until next time, stay calm, stay curious, and stay prestigious.